Hi, hello. Um, I'm sitting at my desk today. Too snowy outside. Didn't get round to recording this yesterday. But, you know, it just seems to have been uh, so busy. But now that Christmas is over, uh, maybe things will settle down a little bit. The tree's down, the decorations have been put away. But I thought I'd let you see one of my uh, Christmas presents uh, that I got. I just get it there so the light isn't reflection reflecting on it. This is uh, Chief Brody. And he's one of the uh, characters in the Jaws movie. Uh, my children know that I, I like the Jaws movie. And last year, they bought me a different figure. So I'm sort of guessing that next year, there'll be another one. Jaws is one of my favourite films. Uh, <coughs> it wasn't on over Christmas, but I love it. I love it because it's so full of action. And then Die Hard, well, there's another good film. I love action films and I love action books. I love the Jack Reacher novels written by a Lee Child. And if you're like me and you like stories that are uh, full of action, well, you would love the, the Bible reading that was set for yesterday. Uh, we started uh, looking at Mark's Gospel um, uh, recently in the church. And the reason you'd like Mark's Gospel is because it's the equivalent, uh, it's the Bible's equivalent of an action story. Uh, chapter one, it's just about 900 pages, uh, 900 words long, but the plot races along. Some of the things that happen uh, in that chapter, you've got John the Baptist preaching and baptising in the Jordan. You've got Jesus coming to be baptised by John. You've got God's spirit descending on Jesus like a dove. You've got God's voice actually being heard, proclaiming Jesus as his son. Jesus goes off into the wilderness for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. Jesus begins preaching and teaching. Jesus calls his first disciples, Simon, who becomes Peter and Andrew and James and John. Jesus drives out an evil spirit from a man in, in the synagogue. Jesus heals Simon's mother-in-law from a fever. The locals bring all the sick and demon-possessed to Jesus so he can heal them. Jesus travels to other villages to teach and to preach. And then he cures a man of leprosy. And all of that is just uh, in that first chapter of Mark's Gospel. We as a nation have been called to action. And the action we've been called to do is to stay at home. Um, to look after ourselves and to look after other people. Why does Mark include so much action in his Gospel? And I think it's because he wants those of us who read it to be left in no doubt that Jesus isn't just all talk. It's not just talking and no action. Jesus hasn't just come up with some lovely ideas about how we can live better lives. Jesus wants us to play an active part uh, in our lives. He wants us to be his hands and his feet, his eyes and ears in our community. And he has made that possible by what he chose to do with his life. He came and he was born as a human being. He lived his life. He showed and opened the way uh, for forgiveness of sin. And after his death, he rose again and is with us now. We are called to be his children at this time, whether we're in home or out in our community. Let's think of ways in which we can share uh, God's love and be that good neighbour and that helping hand. I'll tell you what, why not use the rest of January uh, to read uh, a chapter of Mark's Gospel each day? We could call it Bible Annuary uh, rather than Vegan uh, Annuary. And let's start uh, by getting into Mark's Gospel, because I tell you, it's a real page turner. And if you allow God to speak to you through the words of that book, your life won't be the same again. Bye for now.